Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. This is part 23 of Tafsir ibn Kathir. A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytan ar-rajim. Kayfa takfurun billahi wa kuntum amwatan fa'ahyakum thumma yumitukum thumma yuhyikum ثم يميتكم ثم يحييكم ثم إليه ترجعون. How can you disbelieve in Allah, seeing that you were dead, and He gave you life? Then He will give you death. Then again will bring you to life, i.e., on the day of resurrection, and then unto Him you will return. Allah. Testifies to the fact that he exists, and that he is the one that he exists, and that he is the creator and the sustainer who has full authority over his servants. كيف تكفرون بالله وكنتم أمواتا فأحياكم ثم يميتكم ثم يحييكم ثم إليه ترجعون. How can you disbelieve in Allah, seeing that you were dead, and He gave you life? Then he will give you death. Then again will bring you to life, i.e. on the day of resurrection. And then unto him you will return. How can anyone deny Allah's existence? How can anyone deny Allah's existence or worship? How can anyone deny Allah's existence or worship others with him? While, وَكُنْتُمْ أَمْوَاتًا فَأَحْيَاكُمْ You were dead and he gave you life. Meaning he brought them from the state of non-existence to life. Similarly, Allah said, أَمْ خُلِقُوا مِنْ غَيْرِ شَيْءٍ أَمْ هُمُ الْخَالِقُونَ أَمْ خَلَقُوا السَّمَاوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضَ بَلْ لَا يُقِنُونَ Were they created by nothing? Or were they themselves the creators? Or did they create the heavens and the earth? Nay, but they have no firm belief. Quran chapter 52 verses 35 and 36. هَلْ أَتَى عَلَى الْإِنسَانِ حِينٌ مِّنَ الدَّهْرِ لَمْ يَكُنْ شَيْئًا مَذْكُورًا Has there not been over man a period of time when he was not a thing? When he was not a thing worth mentioning? Quran chapter 76 verse 1. There are many other ayat on this subject. Ibn Jarir reported from Ata ibn Abbas. Ibn Jarir reported from Ata that Ibn Abbas said, that وَكُنْتُمْ أَمْوَاتًا فَأَحْيَاكُمْ Seeing that you were dead and he gave you life means, quote, You did not exist beforehand. You were nothing until Allah created you. He will bring death to you and then bring you back to life during resurrection. End quote. Ibn Abbas then said, This is similar to Allah's statement. قَالُوا رَبَّنَا أَمَتَّنَا اثْنَتَيْنِ وَأَحْيَيْتَنَا اثْنَتَيْنِ They say, they will say, Our Lord, you have made us to die twice, and you have given us life twice. Quran chapter 40, verse 11. It is He who created for you. All that is on earth, then he istawa ila the heaven and made them seven heavens, and he is the knower of everything. Evidence of Allah's ability. After Allah mentioned the proofs of his creating them. And what they can witness in themselves as proof for that, he mentioned another proof that they can witness. That is the creation of the heavens and earth. Allah said, "Huwa aladhi khalaq lakum ma fi al-ard jamia. Huwa aladhi khalaq lakum ma fi al-ard jamia, thumm astawa ila al-sama ifasawahun sabah samawat." It is He who created for you all that is on earth. Then He Istawa ila the heaven and made them seven heavens. Meaning, the meaning of istawa ila, he turned towards the heaven. Fasawahunna and made them. 
فَسَوَّ هُنَّ The meaning and made them. That he made the heaven, seven heavens. Allah said, فَسَوَّ هُنَّ سَبْعَ سَمَاوَاتٍ وَهُوَ بِكُلِّ شَيْءٍ عَلِيمٍ and made them seven heavens, and he is the knower of everything. Meaning, his knowledge encompasses all his creation. Just as he said in another ayah, أَلَا يَعْلَمُ مَنْ خَلَقْ Should not he who has created know? Quran chapter 67 verse 14. The beginning of the creation. This ayah, 29 of chapter 2, is explained in detail in Surah as sajda where Allah said, قُلْ أَإِنَّكُمْ لَتَكْفُرُونَ بِالَّذِي خَلَقَ الْأَرْضَ فِي يَوْمَيْنِ وَتَجَعَلُونَ لَهُ أَنْدَادًا ذَلِكَ رَبُّ الْعَالَمِينَ وَجَعَلَ فِيهَا رَوَاسِيَ مِنْ فَوْقِهَا وَبَارَكَ فِيهَا وَقَدَّرَ فِيهَا أَقَوَاتَهَا فِي أَرْبَعَةِ أَيَّامٍ سَوَاءً لِلسَّائِلِينَ ثم استوى إلى السماء وهي دخان فقال لها وللأرض اتيا طوعا أو كرها قالتا أتينا طائعين فقضاهن سبع سماوات في يومين وأوحى في كل سماء أمرها وزينا السماء الدنيا بمصابيح وحفظا ذلك تقدير العزيز العليم Say O Muhammad Do you verily disbelieve in him who created the earth in two days and you set up rivals in worship with him? That is the Lord of all that exists. He placed therein, i.e. in the earth, firm mountains from above it, and he blessed it, and measured therein its sustenance for its dwellers in four days equal, i.e. all these four days were equal in the length of time. For all those who ask about its creation, then he istawa ila the heaven when it was smoke and said to it and to the earth come both of you willingly or unwillingly they both said we come willingly then he finished them as seven heavens in two days and he made in each heaven its affairs and we adorned the nearest i.e the lowest heaven with lamps i.e stars to be an adornment as well as to guard i.e from the devils by using them as missiles against the devils such is the decree of the Almighty, the Knower. Quran chapter 41, verses 9 to 12. These ayat indicate that Allah started creation by creating earth. Then he made heaven into seven heavens. This is how building usually starts, with the lower floors first and then the top floors, as the scholars of Tafsir reiterated, as we will come to know, Allah willing. Allah also said, أَأَنْتُمْ أَشَدُّ خَلْقًا أَمِ السَّمَاءُ بَنَاهَا رَفَعَ سَمْكَهَا فَسَوَّاهَا وَأَغْطَشَ لَيْلَهَا وَأَخْرَجَ ضُحَاهَا وَالْأَرْضَ بَعْدَ ذَلِكَ دَحَاهَا أَخْرَجَ مِنْهَا مَاءَهَا وَمَرْعَاهَا وَالْجِبَالَ أَرْسَاهَا مَتَاعًا لَكُمْ وَلِأَنْعَامِكُمْ Are you more difficult to create or is the heaven that he constructed, he raised it, he raised, he raised its height and has perfected it. Its night he covers with darkness. And its forenoon he brings out, i.e. with light. And the earth, after that, he sped it out and brought forth therefrom its water and its pasture. And the mountains he has fixed firmly to be a provision and benefit for you and your cattle. Quran chapter 79 verses 27 to 33. It is said that then in the ayah 29 of chapter 2 relates only to the order of reciting the information being given. It does not relate to the order that the events being mentioned took place. This was reported from Ibn Abbas by Ali ibn Abi Talha. The earth was created before the heaven. Mujahid commented on Allah's statement, It is He who created for you all that is on earth. Quote, Allah created the earth before heaven. And when He created the earth, smoke burst out of it. 
This is why Allah said, ثُمَّ اسْتَوَى إِلَى السَّمَاءِ وَهِيَ دُخَانِ Then he istawa ila, turned towards the heavens when it was smoke. فَسَوَّاهُنَّ سَبْعَ سَمَاوَاتِ And made them seven heavens, means one above the other, while the seven earth means one below the other. This ayah testifies to the fact that earth, this ayah testifies to the fact that the earth was created before heaven, as Allah has indicated in the ayat in Surah al sajda Spreading the earth out of, spreading the earth out after the heavens were created. Sahih al-Bukhari records that, when Ibn Abbas was questioned about this matter, he said that the earth was created before the heaven and the earth was spread out only after the creation of the heaven. Several tafsir scholars of old and recent times also said similarly, as we have elaborated in the tafsir of Surat and Nazi'at. The result of that discussion is that, is that the result of that discussion is that the word daha, translated above as spread, is mentioned and explained in Allah's statement, وَالْأَرْضَ بَعْدَ ذَلِكَ دَحَاهَا أَخْرَجَ مِنْهَا مَا أَهَا وَمَرْعَاهَا وَالْجِبَالَ أَرْسَاهَا And the earth, after that, he spread it out and brought forth therefrom its water and its pasture and the mountains he has fixed firmly. Quran chapter 79, verses 30 to 32. Therefore, daha means that the earth's treasures were brought to its surface after finishing the job of creating whatever will reside on earth and heaven. When the earth became daha, the water burst out to its surface and various types, colors, shapes, and kinds of plants grew. The stars started rotating along with the planets that rotate around them. And Allah knows best. Walhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen.